Hello, myself Divya Sharma from Shivjyoti Educational Group, Kota. Children, I hope you are doing well and keeping safe at home. Today, I will teach you chapter number 6 of your English text. So, take out your English textbooks, Gulmohar Language for Life. We will read chapter number 6, The Great Escape. Now, in this chapter, you will read about four friends who are walking in the forest and what adventures they came across while walking. This is adapted from a novel, The Great Wizard of Oz, written by L. Frank Baum. Okay, now I'll start with the explanation of the chapter, The Great Escape. Escape means to run away. Now, what happens? The characters of this story are Dorothy who is a young girl, there's a coward lion, tin woodman and a scarecrow. Dorothy, a young girl, gets carried away from her home by a cyclone. Now what happens? In a cyclone, cyclone is a very strong wind. Okay, Dorothy gets carried away, then what happens? She reaches the magical land of Oz where she meets the cowardly lion, the tin woodman and the scarecrow. Now, when she reaches the mag magical land of Oz, there she meets the coward lion. Coward means not very brave. Okay, the tin woodman and the scarecrow. Scarecrow are human figures which remember, uh, resemble the human figure. Farmers keep it in the fields so that the birds do not attack the crop. Basically to uh, fear the birds. Okay. Dorothy wishes to go back home, the lion wants courage, the woodman wants a heart and the scarecrow wants a brain. Now these all, Dorothy wishes to go back home as she was carried away by the cyclone, the coward lion wants courage, that means he wants to be brave and the woodman wants a heart and scarecrow wants a brain. They decide to travel to the Emirate city to meet the great wizard of Oz and ask for his help. Now what do these four friends decide to visit the uh, city of Emerald where they could meet the wizard of Oz. Wizard is a character in a fairy tale. It's a man with a magical powers. Okay. Now, along the way, they meet strange new people and have many different adventures. While they were walking along, they meet strange people. Strange is what? When you uh, don't know anyone, unknown people are strange people. And they come across different adventures. Adventures are exciting things which involves risk and danger. Dorothy the Cowardly Lion, the Tin Woodman and the Scarecrow were walking through the forest when they saw a ditch before them. Ditch is a deep hole which is dig uh, by the side of the field. Okay. It was very wide and deep ditch with big pointed rocks at the bottom and steep sides. Now I'll show you this is the ditch which they came across. You can see it is rising and falling. It has sharp edges across it. So they had to cross that ditch while they were walking in the forest and it had very steep sides. Steep means rising and falling sharply. What shall we do? asked Dorothy sadly. We must try and jump over it, said the scarecrow. I think I could jump over it, said the lion after looking at the ditch carefully. Now Dorothy sadly said, now what shall we do? But the scarecrow said that I could jump over it, then said the lion after looking at it carefully. Then you can carry us all over on your back at one time, said the scarecrow. When lion said that I can cross the ditch, then everyone said then you should carry all of us at your back and we can cross the ditch at once. I am terribly afraid of falling myself, said the lion, but we must try. Now the lion was very afraid of falling, that he might fall down, but they all said that we must try. I'll go first. If you cannot jump over the ditch and fall, it would not hurt me all, said the scarecrow. As the scarecrow was made of straw, so he said that if you are scared, lion, if you are scared of crossing the ditch, then I'll go first. They were all very pleased to see how easily he did it. Pleased over here means happy. They all were very happy that lion could cross the ditch so easily. One by one, 
One by one, the lion carried all of them and landed safely on the other side. One by one, on its back, lion carried all three of them and he was able to cross the ditch very, very easily. After resting for a while, they started walking along the road. Soon, they heard strange noises from deep inside the forest. Now, while they were walking, they uh, came across very strange noises which were coming from the forest. The lion whispered. Whispered means to speak softly, which could not be heard. That must be Khalidas. They live in this part of the country. Now, the lion slowly whispered, they might be Khalidas and they live in this part of the country. Now, what are Khalidas? asked Dorothy. Dorothy asked, who are Khalidas? They are frightening beasts with bodies like bears and heads like tigers, replied the lion with long and sharp claws. I am very afraid of the Khalidas. Now, Dorothy said, they are very frightening beasts. Frightening means fear. They are very fearful, which have bodies like bears and heads are like tigers. They are like beasts. They came to another ditch across the road but this one was so broad and deep that the lion knew he could not jump over it so they sat down to think what they could do now while crossing while moving along the road they came across another ditch and this time this ditch was very broad broad means wide okay and it was so deep that the lion could not jump so they sat down to think what shall we do now to cross the ditch the scarecrow said, this tree is very close to the ditch. If the tin wood man can chop it down, it will fall to the other side and we can walk over it easily. Now the tin wood man, uh, the scarecrow said that if the tin wood man could cut down the tree, then we can easily cross the ditch. That is a great idea, said the lion. One would almost think you had brains instead of straw. Now the lion said, how could one say that you don't have brain? You have brain. The woodman set to work and chopped the tree. Then the lion put his front legs against the tree and pushed it. Slowly the big tree tipped and fell with a crash across the ditch with its top branches on the other side. Now what happened as the woodman cut down the tree, it bent and it fell. Okay, slowly the big tree tipped, it bent, tipped over here means it bent and fell with a crash, okay, then across the ditch with its top branches on the other side. The top branches lied on the other side of the ditch, so they can easily walk over it and cross the ditch. They had just started to cross the bridge when a sharp growl made them all look up. They said, two great beasts with bodies like bears and heads like tigers running towards them. Now, when they were crossing the bridge, what did they saw? They heard a sharp growl. Growl is a sound which is made by bears, okay? Now, what they uh, saw, that they saw that the beasts with bodies like bears and heads like tigers were running towards them. Who were they? They were Khalidas, okay? The Khalida said the lion, beginning to shake with fear, stand close behind me, I will fight them as long as I am alive. Now the lion came to know that these are Khalidas and he said that you all stand uh, besides me and then I will fight with uh, the Khalidas as long as I am alive, I will save you all. The lion turned to face the Khalidas and gave out a loud and terrible roar out of fright. Dorothy screamed and the scarecrow fell over backwards. Now what did lion uh, do? As soon as he saw the Khalidas, he gave a loud terrible roar and this roar was because of the fear. Okay, Dorothy screamed. Screamed means to shout and said scarecrow fell over backwards. The Khalida stopped and looked at the lion in surprise. Surprise means when anything comes to you, you see unexpected, which is not expected by you. But seeing they were bigger than him, they rushed forward and began to cross the bridge. Now what happened? The Khalida stopped as soon as they saw the lion, but seeing that they were bigger, the Khalidas were bigger than the lion, the Khalida started moving towards the bridge. 
hurry up, cried the scarecrow, let us cross over. Now the scarecrow said, we should be quick to cross the bridge, otherwise they would come. The four of them crossed the bridge as quickly as they could. Once they reached the other side, the scarecrow asked the tin woodman to chop away the end of the tree that was on their side of the ditch. Now what happened as they, uh, they four were able to cross the bridge quickly, once they reached to the other side, the scarecrow said the tin woodman to chop out, to cut the other end of the tree which was uh, that side of the ditch so that the Khalidas could not cross. Okay, quick cried the scarecrow. The woodman began to use his axe at once. The Khalidas had almost crossed the bridge when the tree fell with a crash into the ditch along with the beast. Now what happened as the woodman began to chop down the tree using his axe, the Khalidas had almost crossed half of the bridge. But what happened as he cut down the tree and the tree fell with a crash and into the ditch along with the beast. Beast also fell down along with the branch of the tree. Well, said the lion, drawing a long breath of relief. Over here, the lion took a very uh, relieved breath. He was very happy. Those creatures frightened me so badly that my heart is still beating. He was so terribly frightened by the Khalidas that his heart is still beating. Ah, said the tin woodman sadly, I wish I had a heart to beat. As we read earlier that tin woodman wanted a heart, so he said, I wish I had a heart to beat so that I could also feel. The four travellers kept walking until they could see a yellow brick road and green meadows on the other side of a broad river. Soon they saw a delightful country before them and it was the country of Oz. Read The Wizard of Oz. It's a novel to find out what happens next and it is written by L. Frank Baum. So this was all about the explanation of the chapter. Now children start underlining the new words, take a pencil in your hand. On page number 44, you have your first new word. In the second line, you will find cowardly. Cowardly means not very brave. Come to the second paragraph, you will find the word ditch. Ditch is a deep hole which is dug at the side of the field. Now. Again on the same page you will find the word steep. Steep means rising sharply. As you saw that the ditch, the edges of the ditch are rising, coming out sharply. Okay, now come on to page number 45. Take out page number 45. Underline pleased. Pleased means happily. Okay, then the next word is Safely. Safely means carefully. On the same page you will find the word whispered. Whispered means to speak softly. Then on same page, page number 45, you will find the word broad. Broad means very wide. Now turn the page, page number 46. Page number 46. You will find the word terrible, terrible means very horrible, very dangerous, okay? Then you will find the word, okay, now eight words you have marked, these are your eight new words, you have to mark it in the book. Now I will explain you the word meaning. So again take out your page number 44, you can mark the word meaning as well as in your book. Page number 44, okay, the first word meaning is courage, that means being brave. On page number 45, you have second word is spring, that means jump. And then the third word is beast, beasts are monsters. Then turn the page, page number 46, tipped, you will find the word over here, tipped, tipped means bent, okay. 
so these were the new words and the word meanings mark it in your book now i'll explain you the copy work now children when you will start with the notebook work your writing should be beautiful and legible first draw the margins okay then write down lesson 6 the name of the chapter the great escape underline with red margin then write down new words again underline the heading with red margin now i'll start discussing the new words first new word is cowardly that means not very brave okay second is ditch ditch is a deep hole which is dig along the field steep steep means sharply rising okay pleased pleased means happy safely carefully whispered to speak softly broad means wide terrible extremely horrible okay now you will give the heading word meaning underline it with red margin courage is your first word that means being brave okay spring means to jump beasts are monsters tipped means bent now i'll discuss the question answers with you all the first question is you will first give the heading answer the following then you will mention question number 1 you will write the question what made dorothy sad why was dorothy sad answer dorothy was sad because the ditch they came across was very wide deep and difficult to cross dorothy was sad because the ditch which they came across the big hole which they came across it was so deep and wide that it was very difficult for them to cross so she was very sad question number 2 is why do you think the fall would not have hurt the scarecrow at all the fall would not have hurt the scarecrow at all because it was made up of straw as the scarecrow was made up of straw so if he would he would have fallen he would not have got hurt okay question number 3 is who are khalidas where did they hear the noise made by khalidas khalidas are frightening beasts with heads like tigers they heard their noise from deep inside the forest now khalidas are very frightening beast which have heads like bears heads like tigers okay and they heard now where did the khalidas came from they came from deep inside the forest question number 4 how did the scarecrow stop the khalidas from reaching them the scarecrow asked the tin woodman to chop away the end of the tree that was on their side now the scarecrow asked the tin woodman to cut down the tree which was on the other side of the ditch now i'll discuss who said to whom we must try and jump over it scarecrow said to others this line was said by scarecrow to the other friends one would almost think you had brains instead of straw this was spoken by lion said to the scarecrow okay now i'll discuss make sentences with you first is deep swimming pool is very deep okay the sentence is swimming pool is very deep second is landed an aircraft landed safely you will underline the word okay the uh, the word uh, for which you have to make the sentence you will underline it in the sentence as well surprise i got a surprise on my birthday fourth is scarecrow i saw a scarecrow in the field children these are the sentences 
but you can uh, if you want you can make the sentences on your own as well so this was all the copy work do it very neatly read the chapter go through the video very carefully thank you